Nationwide, um, about 2%, 1% to 2% of patients leave against medical advice, and uh, that translates to about um, half a million patients a year. So the question often comes up with doctors and nurses is what no one wants a patient to leave against medical advice, uh, least of all the doctor who's taking care of the patient. Um, because everyone wants the patient to, uh, you know, put their own health first and stay in the hospital. And so one of the things that um, that we, that doctors and nurses often do is try to negotiate with the patient. And it's actually a recommendation that doctors and nurses negotiate with the patient, find out it's wrong, and try to um, try to see if there can compromise on a care plan to get them to stay in the hospital. And so when it was not uncommon when patients leave against medical advice that in the in discussions with the patient. And, and uh, trying to get them to stay, um, patients might hear from their doctors that, oh, if you leave, you'll also have to pay for the bill. That could be extremely scary for a patient. This question came up because um, um, a medical student, actually, um, Gabriel Schaefer, who's a Pritzker third-year medical student now, uh, was a second-year medical student, um, and John Schumann, who was a physician here, um, and uh, both got interested in this problem at the same time, wondering where was the source of this um, issue, um, how did this information get so widespread, and, and most of all, is it true? Um, because there was at least some concern that this was not true. And so that was really the impetus of the study. The study was to find out, is this true, and um, and how how does this influence page, uh, doctors' counseling practices about um, leaving against medical advice? What we found was, um, in looking at 10 years of, of, of bills generated by the University of Chicago when patients leave against medical advice, in no case was a bill um, actually, uh, was a patient liable for the bill because they left against medical advice. So, um, so and this is when they had insurance. So if they have insurance, they were never, you know, we often say the, the myth is that, that insurance won't pay if you leave against medical advice. So that makes it even scarier. So, um, so if, for all the patients that had insurance, there was never a case that a patient left medical, who left medical advice, their insurance did not pay. Um, there were occasional cases that um, patients, um, that insurance denied payment, but they were all for like largely administrative logistic reasons that were routine reasons for why insurance would deny payment. So then we went and thought, okay, so now that we have that information, let's survey doctors, let's survey residents and um, and attendings. And we surveyed, we started the survey at University of Chicago, but knowing we, that we wanted to get outside of our four walls to see is this a myth that was just perpetuated here, but or was it happening elsewhere? So we were able to partner with um, with a local physician group, the American College of Physicians Resident Conference, which draws residents from 18 residency programs in Chicago and all, you know, pretty much all over Illinois, um, and we use the same survey questions, and we found that a the majority of physicians um, thought that uh, when a patient left against medical advice, that they had to pay. So how did this information get pat spread, you know, so, you know, along to the, uh, the doctors at all these different hospitals? And, um, and uh, many times what, they, uh, what the residents and attendings reported is that they heard it from their peers, other residents um, or, um, or um, case managers or nurses, um, but, the, you know, very few had described learning about it through formal mechanism. But it was, and even in some cases, people wrote in that they heard about it through the Internet or rumors or they just, it's just something that was passed down to them, really highlighting um, sort of the in in the day of, um, in the era of the information age and spreading information, um, and we know doctors learn from their peers, but sometimes you can perpetuate bad information. There's actually a science behind how rumors spread that we actually looked at, and uh, rumors spread when um, two things are, um, are conditions are met. And the first is there's a lot of ambiguity about a particular subject. So 
hospital costs, a lot of ambiguity. And the second is that the social network is densely connected and facilitates passive passing along information. And so, um, so I think that this is a great um, example of how those two conditions are met um, and the rumor gets spread pretty rapidly. So using that, we've developed an educational module to train um, um, hospital staff on what to do when a patient leaves against medical advice, because we wanted to go one step further and correct this problem. And so uh, we worked to create a video that's online that um, highlights to um, doctors and um, hospital staff what to do when a patient leaves against medical advice. And we've also created a website um, that pulls in um, informational resources and references about what to do when a patient leaves against medical advice so that we can try to um, dispel this myth.